Welcome to the Quick Train Modeler version 805 What's New video. The central themes to the version 805 release are editing, converting, rendering, searching, and planning. Quick Train Modeler streamlines and expedites all of these tasks and adds some new tools along the way. In version 805, editing point clouds and surface models will be easier and faster than ever, particularly for users that make repetitive edits. Quick Terrain Modeler now has a new edit mode with a dedicated toolbar. Simply click the Edit Mode button and the floating Edit Mode toolbar will appear, indicating that you are in edit mode. Selection areas, cut, crop, flatten, smooth, reclassify, and repair are all at your fingertips, making for quick, precise edits. In addition, there are now 10 levels of undo functionality, and undo will apply to all editing functions, not just cut and crop. This example shows a user reclassifying points in a point cloud to a value of 2, the value for ground. Converting coordinate systems happens with a few clicks of the mouse now, and will be applied to every item in the layer tree, including vectors, markers, routes, and imagery, not just the LiDAR data. This means, for example, that an entire project could be created in UTM, then converted and exported in Geodetic. Since coordinate conversion can also happen during the import of data, you can now build 3D scenes from diverse data that was published in many different coordinate systems to begin with. Version 805 will have more responsive rendering, particularly for very large DEMs. Overlaying imagery on point clouds will likely be much sharper, and 805 will have better support for very large point clouds. Take a look at your OpenGL resources in the Help menu to explore some of the new capabilities. QT Modeler's powerful spatial search tool now searches 3D data, 2D imagery, and vectors all at the same time, allows users to sort the search results many ways, and loads the data into the 3D scene all at once. Also, don't forget about using the search tool's copy function to aggregate data and imagery of an area of interest into one folder, no matter where it exists at first. Just perform the search function, highlight results, and copy everything to a new folder. Route planning continues to get better with version 805, with the addition of automatic checkpoint generation, the ability to edit marker positions in MGRS, threat domes, and direct export to APAS and ATAC. The new 3D threat domes are attached to markers. Right-click on a marker in the layer tree to attach a threat dome to it. Move the marker and dome together by holding down K and dragging to a new location. So that's just a high-level overview of what's new in Quick Train Modeler version 8.0.5. Thanks for all of your feedback and suggestions. Please contact us if you would like to learn more, get a temporary trial license, or upgrade your existing licenses. We look forward to hearing from you.